Ev, I hate. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kennet, and this one here they call Desperate, and this is New Boy. He's um, apprenticing with us like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now New Boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress, too. Boholt was just fooling about the raping and all. What rape? Shut your trap, Desbrett. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon, the sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize, and we argued. There was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress we went after the beast. But the dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. And you done freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? raven Edge she was. Remember her name, Desbrett? Er, uh, Conifer or some such. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy better night that he'd survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We'd drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magically-like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing as sorcery and such is not strange to you? Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses praying at this shrine. They were nice, smiling and all. We don't want to take them two on patrol. Ho <laughs> ho but... Shut it! Boalt had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance, went rummaging in the shrine and found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his? But every now and then, he wakes up as good old Boholt. Aye, he still cuts them down with a single wallop. In any case, we took the amulet and went off to find the rest of the patrol. Oh, the wonders we saw. First, ran into some squirrels, vicious ones, arrows flying everywhere. But we came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down, the elves fell to their knees, and we all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. Who knows? The amulet just might help. All right, that settles it. The Witcher says the amulet will help. Fucking hell. I'll not go into battle in my knickers alone. No gain. We win that wager, we'll be rich men, remember that? Besides, what's the joy in taking a castle in full plate? They'll sing ballads about you, I tell you. The sound in the assembly, that's us. Thanks, Witcher. We'll be sure to get you a share of those winnings. And who knows? We might get another shot of that golden dragon someday. If it goes on like this, we'll be sipping wine in the love of its chambers by sundown. Too true. What say you to that, flunkies? <laughs> Long live the king! Laugh all you like. Come the assault, you'll be hey, slipping you're on that you're the one who crushed He waits near Salamandra. the machine. No reason to go in here. Ah, they're in for a beating. A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency, we're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. 
I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a pen. Yeah. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballast day two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait! You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sador. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when... They're my children. If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? Not really. I actually saw His Excellency sweat, but that'll be our secret. Ha! <laughs> you brought your sense of humor along. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits, it's just a question of time. Now, for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, very! Catch, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! 
How much higher? Three degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it! We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher! You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, but they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, her motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's a swiving soldier's life! Taking orders, smash your foe! Coin and country, there, your wife! And a long road at your toe. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Lord Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, Your Majesty! Follow me, gentlemen! For Temeria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, Your Grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me! For the glory!
Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles. Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards. If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks. And I'm no duck. Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. The Witcher! Witcher!